if we were all like Sam, we wouldn't have to worry about zits. He's got enough hair on his face that covers it all up. Unfortunately, we don't have the advantage of uh, zits, of uh, enough hair to take away our zits. But uh, I don't know anybody who doesn't want to get rid of their zits. Uh, they are a blight on society. Zits are uh, the downside of our culture. Uh, when you have zits, you are a second, third class citizen. Uh, so we, w we need to get rid of our zits. Uh, probably a bajillion dollar industry are all the creams and all the junk you can put on your face to uh, try to cover the zits. Uh, you know, we stand in the mirror and pop them, set up little targets on the mirror, try to hit the targets. People do all kinds of things to get rid of zits. The best thing and the easiest thing to do to get rid of zits is to completely change the way you eat. No oil in, no oil out. No zit stuff in, no zit stuff out. If we change how we eat, we get rid of zits. And uh, since we're not Sam, I'm going to let him go. And uh, I can talk to you about uh, something a little bit more important than zits on the face. And that's uh, the zits in our lives. We all have stuff we don't like. We have temptations we don't like. We have uh, thoughts we don't like. Uh, we have weaknesses that uh, sometimes seem to dominate our lives that we just can't seem to get rid of. Uh, but, uh, and, and I call them spiritual zits because uh, whatever we take in, whatever we listen to, whatever we concentrate on, at the end of the day, the zits show themselves. They really do. And, uh, you know, religion says buy cream and cover them. You know, cover them with good works. Hide them with uh, religious jargon and religious activity. Uh, but the real solution to an anti-zit spiritual life is to allow Jesus free reign in our hearts to change us. Uh, to allow him to be the gatekeeper of our soul so that uh, we only take in the things that we want people to see. You know, this, the, the, probably the most frustrating thing about religion is that uh, if you're taking in spiritual zits, no matter what religion does, those spiritual zits are going to be visible. Eventually they're going to come out. Eventually people are going to see it. And uh, that's why sometimes hypocrisy is easy uh, to notice. But uh, I know in my life, I refuse to use creams. Uh, what you see is what you get. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Me is me. Uh, because I know that uh, as much as I can, I let Jesus be the gatekeeper to my soul. And as much as I am willing, and I hope that is more and more every day, I'm asking Jesus to change me from the inside, to get rid of all that spiritual zit pus that wants to come out and uh, really show the world what's really going on inside of me. Uh, so we can ooze with zit stuff, or we can ooze with the presence of Jesus. And if you're just who you are, you will ooze with the presence of Jesus. And when the zits come out, you repent. You, 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 you repent with the, with the thought and the notion that it's wrong. I'm not making excuses for it. This is a spiritual zit that I hate. Lord, forgive me. I turn away from it. And you just go on. And uh, that is not... Uh, concealing a zit but it's acknowledging that you are on God's side in his plan to try to uh, clear us up and you wonder where uh, where does he get that is that scriptural well maybe maybe that's what the scripture means whenever the scripture says he is preparing 
a bride without spot or blemish or any such thing. I can just imagine who he saw passing by when he came up with that analogy. We want to get rid of our spiritual zits. We want Jesus to clean us up from the inside. We don't want the false covering of uh, external stuff to try to hide it. Uh, who we are are who we are. I am what I am. If I'm anything good, I'm good because of the grace of God. If in the places I'm a jerk, I am a jerk because I haven't given that part of my life to Jesus yet. And uh, my goal is having more of his presence ooze than uh, the jerkdom. It's a new word, write it down, it's going to be in the dictionary someday. Uh, rather than the jerkdom of my old man coming out. Uh, but when we are who we are, we are at peace. And we know that God is at work within us. And we can uh, do the things God called us to do without guilt. Uh, I was talking to somebody just a few days ago, and they said, uh, well, I would love to be in, in ministry, but I got too much stuff in my life to clean up. And I said, well, there's two pieces of news. Number one, if Jesus is inside of you and you've got a pulse, you're in ministry. Ministry is not just preaching, singing in the choir, or street witnessing. If you have a pulse and Jesus is inside of you, you are in ministry. And secondarily, uh, I don't have time to wait that long, and neither do you. Jesus changes you while you go change the world. Let him clear your face of spiritual zits, and you go change the world.